Hey guys, now we are on the 31st topic to learn select or not found. I am going to talk about few important points and couple of properties that you must be aware before studying this select or not found. Okay, so let's get on to UiPath Studio and see what are those. First thing with experiment I am going to teach you. First thing let's drag and drop or click activity. To practice this, I would recommend you to use some of the applications such as notepad or calculator or snipping tool or any web application. Okay. Now in this one, I am taking click activity because I'm experimenting. I want that error to appear in a quick way. I'm going to change the millisecond to 2000 milliseconds. That means two seconds within two seconds. I should get an error. Now I'm going to choose any application. Let's say snipping tool, calculator, paint or notepad. So I will take a notepad. Indicate on screen and I'm going to click on any of the UI element of this application. Okay, so by default if I run It's going to work. Okay, what would happen if I'm going to minimize it if I minimize the notepad and Try to run it look at the property all the time. Okay, look at the property of this activity here At this moment if I have minimized is it going to run or not or it's going to give a error select or not found now tell me What would happen? So this is this appears very simple, but again with the question we might be slightly getting confused, right? So what happened here? The notepad application which was minimized has been taken up and then you know it was executed. It has clicked on the file. Okay. Now uh, let's do one thing. So this one we have understood. Next thing, uh, let me open some other application. Let's say calculator. Just experiment because why I'm saying your you experimenting is important. This is a calculator. Okay. In calculator, let me hit on indicate on screen and let's click on some button. Let's say I want to click on this menu button. Okay. I click on the menu button. Now in this case, what I am doing, um, I am actually it will minimize it. Okay. I, I minimize the application and it's supposed to click. And there again, the property, there is no change apart from 2000 milliseconds. Now if I debug what how this application is going to respond is it going to be the same for all the application or it might differ so let's see now try this on your calculator so what is happening you can see uh, on your taskbar if you see it is actually prompting me to open hey open it open it open it it's telling me open it but I'm not opening it so if I don't open it is it going to throw any error or not so you can see it has thrown an error so it is asking me to open okay it is in the taskbar it will it will have some symbol which is telling you to open if you do not open it okay it wants that application it's not able to pick that up okay now what is the error we have got uipath core selector not found exception so this is a different behavior on notepad it behaved in a different way it brought the notepad to the front with the same settings okay but for the calculator it is prompting you in the taskbar hey you need to open it up you need to keep it up so in this case it is giving a different error select or not found okay so this experiment is more important okay now let me um, let me tell uh, talk about something okay something few few more things okay for example here in the click i'm going to indicate on screen and let me keep the notepad um is it not interesting yeah so here let me click on the file okay file um, and then um, I what I will do in this case um, I am going to make some modification to the property okay what I am doing I am going to enable the simulate click on the property okay simulate click is enabled now if simulate click is enabled and the application I am going to minimize okay application I am going to minimize and run it so the application is there but the simulate click is enabled okay are you going to get an error or you're not going to get an error? So you got an error, right? So let me continue. Continue. So what is the error? This time, if you read the error, it is says element operation exception. Element. I mean you are trying to click on a UI element and it is telling you what is the message here? Click with simulate is not supported for this element. Okay, so in that case, if the element is not supported, this, uh, sorry, click with simulate is not supported for this element, then what error would come? Element, okay, you should remember like this element. So the error is element operation exception. So you see, a lot of knowledge um, you will get if you 
practically do it okay this one is understood great so let's try with some other method if i am going to select send windows message let's say if i am going to select send windows message and the condition is same the notepad is minimized okay and i'm going to run it so let's see so try with all different applications just to understand okay how they are behaving this is important so send windows message again it thrown an error right continue continue so what is the error again element it talks about even the simulate click is not working with notepad windows message also not working with notepad that means i have to use default okay it has to go with the default one okay um so do this experiment based on your experience and your experiment you can be a best judge um, okay um, you need to experience so this is one thing is important um, um now let's say these conditions are put here okay in the try block okay in the try block uh, uh, let's say the notepad um, is minimized and the simulate click is enabled so if the similar click is enabled then which of the, which of this error would appear okay let's see that okay let's experiment so uh, let me copy this and uh, here in the try block i am going to paste it here copy paste okay so it has come okay so what what is enabled for this um let me enable simulate click okay simulate click has been enabled okay now in this case the notepad is going to be minimized so out of all this error selector operation exception is there okay selector operation exception so this element uh, operation exception should be part of this one i feel uh, and then you also have uh, selector not found exception so out of this two which one will be executed let's see it this is interesting right so we have to go through all this um, before you appear for the exam so that you are well prepared so here let me write something what is this selector operation right selector operation exception let's see which one getting executed okay so the same situation i'm going to minimize this or minimize if you maximize also it is going to throw the same error doesn't matter so let me debug it okay okay so which one got the system dot exception got executed none of those go, got executed okay uh, because what is the error um, element uh, element operation exception right selector uh, element operation exception so now what is happening because none of the selector operation exception is not valid selector not found exception is not valid um uh, this is the error right click with simulate is not supported for the element so exception got executed see even I, mean, i was not expecting this okay now let's do one more experiment okay okay let's do another experiment uh, in the same sequence too what i'm going to do because this got executed um what i am going to do i am going to add a new exception and let's go for that exception okay what was that exception if you remember ui part dot core dot element right element operation exception okay if i select this now this should get executed instead of system exception system dot exception okay let's see uh, element operation exception executed so once you got this uh, bit of knowledge how, how i'm experimenting so that is what Uh, i did okay so you are understanding rather than remembering you understood and then you are doing things so that is the ability one should gain from when somebody is teaching um, okay okay so let's see so this time last time exception got executed and this time uh, the proper exception we have kept element operation exception so you can see which you got executed element operation got executed getting it so uh, depends on the various situation if you have bit of idea you can't go through all the errors for sure but at least the important ones if you go through whatever question comes you'll be able to think through okay okay i think this this should be the appropriate one at least you should be in a place to say okay no this this error cannot come this error cannot come so i have taught about io exception this error cannot come um uh, in, invalid operation exception 
cannot come selector found may come this may come in out of these two which could be the appropriate one right like that you can think and probably go for a right one so thank you guys for watching let's move on to our next topic and please do comment completed okay do not forget thank you